Welcome back to the Friday Night Fever season preview show. Time for our Friday Night Fever spotlight. Football coaches are truly built differently, right? Stubborn to the core sometimes. Kids always come first. For one Valley football coach, he put kids first for a very long time. But this past year, he had to put himself first. You better cook whoever out there, Jermichael. I ain't playing. When you love something, you put everything into it. For 20 plus years, Matt Pinnock, better known by his players as Coach MVP. How you doing? Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Buckle up. Has put his body, voice, Time! heart, and soul into coaching. You got to give yourself room to work. On the field, Pinnock's heart is full. But this time last year, he found out his heart could no longer keep up. I was feeling bad for so long that I, did, I thought that was the new normal. You know, and now that I have a ticker that's working, I realized that wasn't normal. Years of battling serious heart issues left coach with no choice. They looked me in the face and said, it's transplant or hospice. For the first time, coaching football wasn't an option. I would FaceTime with my daughters. I'm like, I'm, they, they haven't started driving yet. They haven't graduated high school yet. Neither one of them had a first date. I'm like, I'm, I'm not missing all that stuff because I'm so stubborn that I got to be out on the practice field. Double transplant. Coach Pinnock receiving a new heart and a third kidney. September surgery. By October, he was dancing his way out of the hospital. When I first started walking again, all they would let me do was move between these two nurses. So I would just step right, step left. I go, you know, how long am I going to have to do this little gospel two-step for? And he thought that was the funniest thing. And so when I finally left, I said, I'm going to give you the real gospel two-step now. So then I danced my way out of there, and they lost it. What up, Cougars? Later that month, Coach MVP returning to his team, walking onto the football field at Raymond Kellis High School for the first time in months. What's up with you? What's up? What's going on? I had this image in my mind of him with all these tubes in him and getting assisted by all these people that would just even walk around. So. I mean, here he is walking up to us, you know, being his normal self. It was, it was really cool. The comeback doesn't happen without family. His doctors and nurses at the Mayo Clinic. One of the orderlies was one of the running backs I coached at Peoria. And he was like, Coach, I didn't know you were here. And I'm like, yeah. And then one of my nurses, uh, her son was my center at Veritas. So it was just like all these people. I'm like, this is crazy. And then one of the coaches just told me right now, his sister was one of my nurses. I'm like. You know, football is just bonded all around me. All right, let's get it. We're going to get it. All heart on three. One, two, three, all heart. Coach Pinnock on three. One, two, three. Go Helmet stickers, support from our community, and his high school best friend, Chris, that quit his job to be his 24-7 caregiver for the months after his release. Like, look, man, Uncle Pinnock, he needs our help. And it was like, let's do it. And so that was, it, it was back that quick. I took the year off from football to do nothing but work on my health because my heart got really bad. We always say team, break on team. Team is important. I wouldn't be here without my team. This season, Coach is back full-time on the sidelines, coaching offense and calling plays at Tempe High School. Just hit them right now and let them run forever. The best part about being back is being around the kids again. This isn't a second chance at life, more a chance to live a better life. I get up every morning, I put on some gospel music, and I'm, I'm good to go. I'm happy for every opportunity I get. I got diagnosed when I was 42, and then it just kept getting worse and worse, and then it was like, you need a transplant. Yeah. yeah, I believe that. Lena, I believe that too after spending time with Coach at practice. It's been so fun to get to know him over the past year. To get this, leaving the hospital, he finna spent 150 bucks at the gift shop because he wanted to remember being there and he wanted to remember all his doctors and he was just so thankful for his time and everybody helping him get right. Yeah, and you see his impact when the people around him at the yeah. hospital know him and want to care for him. Congratulations, Coach, on getting better and best of luck this yeah. season.